This bike is a 1988 Honda Goldwing GL 1500 motorcycle with a four speaker audio system with a fader control. I just want to do a quick video on where your audio connections are on your Goldwing, uh, depending on the year of your bike. This is for a GL 1500, there could be some differences. This one is for an early model, this is the first year 1988. Um, you have a main wiring harness along the left side of the bike. It sits right on top of the frame. And I'll show you where that is right here. This is your main wiring harness right here, this big thing. It does split off here, which goes to the radio. This is the radio wire, the AM FM radio wire comes into this main harness. We're going to focus on the front left side of the bike. If you follow this wiring harness right here, it goes up in here and it splits into a couple of plugs. You're going to have this plug doesn't do anything. These two white plugs and there's a black plug that's down inside here. The white ones are for the front speakers, the black plug does the rear speakers. What it does is it comes off this main harness right here on the bottom into this plug. This is your main feeder line. This is only a two channel stereo so it feeds it into the fader and comes out of the fader back into the front. So it goes in and it comes back and loops into this. So this is the bottom of your loop, the start of it, as it goes towards the fader, comes out of the fader, back into this, and then that goes to the front speakers. It also splits that signal at the fader into this, which is a black plug that goes to your rear speakers. I'll pull that out real quick. There's the black plug. That's for your rear speakers. If you wanted to take your fader control out of the circuit, and I'll show you how this works. Turn the accessory on. I'll turn on my stereo to get some sound. If I use the fader knob, it still cuts the sound because the because this is all still connected. It's still in the loop. So all you have to do to take that out is unplug these two connectors like this. I'll show you how simple that is. That's your fader control. Now it's gone. All I have left now is the main factory front speakers. This is a two-channel stereo uh, by design when the fader actually splits the signal and sends it to the rear and actually uses power to do that. If you want the most power possible and the cleanest sound in a two-channel, you can split it right here. So why is that useful to you? If you're going to try to split your channel to run an amplifier, or you want to run some other audio or anything like that, and you want to cut the fader out of the mix, and you want to know where you can find your signal, your clean signal for your two channel, you want to get it down here at this at this first plug. It's easy to tell what it is. All of this stuff here disconnects and it's all connected to one harness. That's how you know it's the fader. And uh, just to give you a quick shot, this is my fader device right here with the knob on it. It's just a little piece of plastic that sits up by the key. So if you want to grab your uh, your speaker leads or anything like that in a clean way, or only run the front speakers and the fader, you don't want that to eat power, or you're looking for a, a you know, your cleanest high um, level signal for an input for an amplifier, you want to grab that at this plug. Well, you can see that this plug is so short, you're never going to grab the leads off of that unless you have another one of these plugs to connect into. So I would suggest you just unplug the fader itself, and you've got a little stub end of wires here that you could tap into uh, if you needed to to run your clean speaker high level inputs back into an amplifier. So that's how you take your uh, your fader control out or even add your fader and I'll show you where that black plug is. That's right in there. That's the black plug for the rear. So again your, your main line, your main harness comes in. This feeds directly off the AM FM stereo. It splits it off into two white plugs. The one feeds it into the fader, comes back out of the fader, goes to the front and the rear. It just it's just like a like a like a loop. That's how it works. If you have any questions, you can ask comments on the you can ask some questions in the comments, but otherwise that is how your fader system is connected to your Goldwing. Thanks for watching.